I asked my community to recommend the best quality of life mods for Project Zomboid so that I can review them. It's been over a month. It's about time I fulfill my end of the bargain. I've gathered 40 of the good ones. Let's get going. This first list is mostly UI improvements that make things more visible or provide information that you already had access to in an easier to view way, but do not change the gameplay. Backpack Borders adds borders around the containers in your inventory. When you pick up a black duffel bag, it completely disappears on the black background. This mod prevents that. In the same theme, Reorder Containers, Backpack Orders, lets you click and drag those various containers into a different order. With this, your emergency-only fanny pack can stay at the bottom of the list without having to take it off and put it back on every time you switch bags. Reorder Hotbar lets you click and drag your hotbar around to your liking. The usefulness of this increases when you're using mods that add more slots to the hotbar. Rename Containers lets you name any container. This is multiplayer compatible, which will keep those organization freaks happy. No more putting tools in the empty weapons container only to get yelled at by the base mom. Better sorting changes the categories of various items to match what they actually do. Items with no use are put in the junk category, for example. This mod and its compatibility patches are very helpful when it comes to managing items from various other mods you are using. Craft Helper adds a new right-click option to open a searchable crafting menu. Instead of scrolling through the vanilla crafting menu or trying to remember the name of a recipe, you can type in a single ingredient to see what it can be used to craft. Much like better sorting, this mod and its compatibility patches are incredibly helpful when you use many other crafting mods. Fuel side indicator shows you which side the fuel tank is on, so you don't look like an idiot trying to fill up your car in front of your friends. It's compatible with most modded vehicles as well, which is a huge bonus when you go on a modded car downloading spree like myself. Seriously, I have like 50 of these things. Has been read adds a red question mark on books you have not read and a yellow exclamation point on books you have partially read. You can quickly pick out the books you need to read from a list without having to muss over them. Improved hair menu adds previews for all of the hair types. Nothing crazy, but it's a nice way to speed up hair selection. It works with modded hairstyles as well, so those looking for the ultimate style can quickly peer through their 100 different hairstyles. Large progress bar increases the size of the progress bar. This is more for those running higher than 1080p resolutions, as the bar becomes increasingly smaller as the resolution goes up. Map Legend UI adds a legend to the map. You can already figure out what the color coding on the buildings means, so why not have a collapsible legend there? XP Drops Old School RuneScape. This mod adds a customizable experience bar to the UI. You can see your current progress and floating experience numbers every time you gain experience. Since it's OSRS themed, it doesn't quite fit, but it's immensely helpful compared to leaving your skill menu open and repeatedly mousing over the experience bar so you can do the math to see how much you gained. It doesn't work perfectly with the custom experience multipliers you can add, so beware. I swear there was another mod like this that does use Zomboid themed icons, but I could not find it. I'd recommend that one for non-OSRS players. Weapon Condition Indicator makes the condition of your weapons on the hotbar visible. Since you can check your weapon's condition manually, it's technically a visual-only mod, but it's much easier to see and plan for the coming broken weapon with this mod. Beware, this only works with weapons in your quick slots. A weapon that is only in your hands will not show up. As for special mentions, I'll include Alternative Inventory Rendering and Spiff UI, which is apparently pronounced as Spiffy. These two mods are more of a total inventory UI conversion, which is great because it's a one-stop shop, but that also means they are much more likely to have incompatibility issues with other mods. Before I move on to the rest of the quality of life mods, I'd like to point out that the majority of these mods can be configured if you use a mod called Mod Options. A ton of things you might otherwise think of as a deal breaker can be changed. Next up are quality of life mods that do change the way the game plays. You'd be surprised at how a small change can make the game significantly easier or harder. Part of the pressure that makes Zomboid dangerous is the general clunkiness of the game, and every mod picking away at that makes it easier and easier. Remember, it's your choice whether you use a mod or not. Authentic Z has a backpacks only version that lets you upgrade your backpacks to have more slots. You'll be relieved to find out that you can carry water bottles, working flashlights, and your fashion visibly on your bag. Make sure to show off your rare collectibles to your friends. Breaking In adds the ability to pry open locked doors, windows, and cars with a crowbar. It even has failure modes for those unfortunate characters who struggle with everything. In the same line of thought, Better Lock Picking adds minigames for breaking locks, picking locks, and hot wiring cars. This is something that many players think is lacking in the game. Luckily, the Project Zomboid modding community is on its way to Minecraft or Elder Scrolls status. Thank you modders, your work is appreciated. Cat's Faster Reading mod speeds up reading when you sit down, and it also lets you read while walking. Now you can multitask as you make your walk a shame to the next gas station. Change Sandbox Options adds the ability to change the sandbox options while you are playing the game. Very helpful for those trying to set up specific challenges 
or if you're experimenting with a perfect difficulty setting for yourself. Just beware, some settings do not change on the fly and will need a restart or a new save. Clear description for Moodles and more descriptions for traits both add detailed tooltips to the traits and the Moodles in the game. These are not perfect as they reflect the knowledge of the modders who made them, but they do contain a vast quantity of information you may have never been able to figure out on your own. PZ Clothing UI, Clothing Items Grid View, puts your clothing items in a categorized grid view. This makes it much easier to figure out what you are wearing quickly. Equipment UI Tarkov style interface does a very similar thing, but with a Tarkov theme. It also has a toggle to remove equipped items from the inventory list, which dramatically helps clean up your inventory. I'm not sure if I can even go back to playing with the cluttered inventory after trying this mod out. It gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Disassemble container with items allows you to dismantle containers that still have items in them. Those items get placed on the floor automatically. This cuts out a ton of busy work when you decide to level your metalworking or carpentry purely through dismantling. Faster hood opening does what the title says. Hoods take a little too long to open in the game and this cuts the time down. Fixable back holes lets you patch up the holes in the back of your clothes. In the vanilla game, you may have noticed some clothes have holes in them that do not appear in the inspection menu when you try to patch them up. Turns out some clothes have a front and a back piece that doesn't show up. This mod makes them visible and fixable. Load all magazines adds a right click option to load all of your magazines at once. No more clicking 20 different mags for the boomstick enthusiasts. Speaking of automatic things, auto sewing, auto mechanics, and auto cook will take those highly repetitive clicking tasks and cut them down to a single click. These mods are the equivalent of botting in a way. But the next time you spend two hours adding and removing patches from clothes so that you can repair your favorite extremely rare pair of leather pants, you'll understand why you might want to automate that task. I know some people are against using cheats to avoid these time-wasting grinds, and at least these auto mods use up all the resources they are supposed to. Mini Health Panel adds a movable UI panel that automatically fades in when you are injured. Alerting you to the problem and whether you need to deal with a sudden neck wound in an eye-friendly way, the Bleeding Moodle does not achieve. If you didn't know, the Bleeding Moodle does not show the severity of your bleeding. It gets darker based on how many wounds you have. Nested Containers lets you loot every container that is inside of another container. Not having to drop bags on the ground out of closets and trunks to check what is inside is a huge time saver and honestly more realistic. Warning, this mod is not compatible with multiplayer at the moment even though it appears to work. Items can disappear. Simple Status adds a configurable status bar UI that shows your current stats. You can't see these in Vanilla Zomboid making this a huge advantage, but I've noticed many people using this mod or another called Minimal Display Bars, so I figured I'd include them. Proximity Inventory adds a new inventory tab that includes all items and containers around you. This includes zombie corpses, so you don't have to search through 30 different bodies to find that one lighter you needed. On the other hand, you could use refillable lighters if you don't want to search for new lighters all the time. This mod makes it so you can refill lighters with gas. If you've ever made it to winter, you know you can build water collectors in-game to collect rainwater, but they don't work with snow. Snow is water makes it so water collectors do collect water when it's snowing. Just imagine it's melting in there, okay? I have but two more honorable mentions. The music mods. These mods can be set up to add immersive time period crack music or simply go wild with everything. I expect these will get banned off the Steam Workshop at some point as it's basically piracy. As far as I can tell, the base mods don't do anything illegal. It's the add-ons that would get in trouble. At any point, you can check the most recent section of the Steam Workshop and find a handful of true music add-ons on the first page. It's honestly impressive how many people are uploading add-ons for the mod and I feel like I'll miss them if anything happens to them in the future. That recently added mod page would slow down a fair bit. How's that for quality of life mods? If I didn't mention your favorites, go ahead and put them in the comments so everyone else can enjoy them too.